Cleveland is in the heart of the Excelsior District. It is a rather poor school and is really off the radar. When I talk to folks that have been in this district for a long time and I say I'm the principal at Cleveland, they're like, what, where is that? You know, like they really don't know. The present day reality for a lot of these kids is pretty tough for a lot of reasons. Many of them are learning a language. Many of them are exposed to stress and, and, and trauma in some cases in their neighborhoods. It might be family issues. Just growing up is, is tough. But through the experiences that we provide at scores in the writing class and on the soccer field, we'd like to give them the skills and relationships that help them navigate through those tough times. A haiku is a short poem. So I've known Diane for two years now. I've been her coach, her writing and her soccer coach. When she first came into the program, she was a wallflower. I was really shy, and I thought no one would like my poetry. She would be the first one to cry if she got bumped by someone on the field or a ball. She would be the first one to put her head down when I asked for volunteers in the classroom. So I picked on her. I called Diane first. I put Diane, you know, front and center in the field in soccer games because I could see she had so much potential. I knew since Diane was little that she was a tough girl and then she will be doing good on any sport that she wants to play. I was a boxer in Mexico City. I boxed for seven years. So see my daughters playing football and being tough, you know, it's, it's awesome. That's incredible for me. SCORES provides experiences that any parent anywhere would want for their child. It's the joy of being part of a team, the pride of writing a poem, sharing a story, performing in public. From day one this year, she just was writing, 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 full of ideas. and. What was even more surprising to me was that she wanted to share it all. Favorite thing about writing poetry is that I can express my feelings and I can talk about my family. Coach Aaron said that we need to write a poem about an adjective, and I, I was thinking which one, and I thought about a fighter, because my dad sometimes we go out in the garage and practice fighting. I train with my daughter. I show her how to fight and protect herself. I just listen to her poem and, and yeah, she's a fighter. <laughs> I encouraged a lot of the girls to submit their poems to try out for the San Francisco Winter Poetry Party Slam. And that was the event that gave you the chance to win to go to New York. So Diane, like a lot of the kids, took a huge risk in getting up and performing that poem. And it was something that she was able to do because of the relationships that she built with the other students on her team. Coach Aaron said that I won, and I started crying, and then everybody came to hug me. And I don't know, like, if you know what, 20 girls screaming and crying on top of, you know, one that is so successful looks like, but it was, I mean, pure joy. It's a big thing, going to New York, so I was surprised that that happened to her. My dad cried, but he didn't cry out of sadness, he cried out of proudness. It made men don't cry and stuff like that, right? But when it's something about my kids, like, totally can, I can hold it, you know? Probably because I think everything we do right now, we making the foundation, you know, for her life. And that's gonna make a better future for her. My dad wants me to go to Harvard, but I said I don't wanna go, I wanna go to Stanford. <laughs> I know Diane as I know every kid but I didn't have a personal insight into her. And so that poem allowed for that. Yeah, yes, sir. The awesome. For the wider community to see that and recognize that I think is, is important. I am really excited. Yeah. Nervous and excited. <laughs> how, are you, how are you feeling this morning? Tired and excited. <laughs> 
Diane is Scores. She's a fighter. She has her own authentic voice. And she has a big heart. And that's what we want. That's what we want for all of our kids. To be more confident, more capable, and more hopeful. <laughs>